Last October, I took a drive out to West Hampton, pulled over by a roadside dahlia stand, put money in the cash box, took my dahlias, drove home, and thought about what an interesting experience this was that you can only have in a place like Long Island, where there are roadside stands and local growers who are selling their goods. We are here today in West Hampton at Jillian Cabala's house, which is also Nestle Down Dahlia's, her roadside Dahlia business. And she's about to take us into her backyard and show us how she runs her Dahlia stand. So this is our backyard Dahlia farm. It's around a third of an acre and we have 700 plants. This is not my uh, primary source of income. I'm a dietitian and my husband and I work full time, but I know a lot of flower farmers who do that full time and it can be really challenging. I supply uh, florists, um, floral designers, and then I also have extra for the roadside stand. So tell me about the work that goes into this and why all the flowers are in bags. So normally in cut flower production, you would use pesticides to control insect damage on the plants. And obviously that's harmful for the environment, pollinators, and also, you know, humans and, and our customers. The bags help um, protect the blooms from, you know, caterpillar damage, beetles. And when I take all stuff. these leaves off? Yes, yeah, so you strip the leaves and then you just put them in the bucket. Farming for your livelihood is, is no joke. It's a lot of work um, and every year you're dealing with something. Yes, yeah, so this is another corn borer. How often are you out here checking on the flowers? And oh, multiple times per day. So you always have to be back here um, you know, seeing what's going on, checking on your plants every day. We started our roadside business two years ago, and it's going really well. For Newsday TV, I'm Ariel Dollinger.